So hello everyone and welcome again to P101 online course with me Mario. So today we are in our lesson number 10 and since we had our regular verb grammar lesson in lesson number 9, today we're going to talk about our cultural aspect of the P101 online course. So today I bring you two really important artists from Brazilian culture. The first one will be Mr. Oscar Niemeyer. He is one of the most uh, renowned architects in the world. And I'm going to talk a little bit about his work. And then I will so show some pictures of his buildings here in Brazil and around the world. So, uh, Oscar Niemeyer was born in Rio de Janeiro back in... 1907, he graduated from the Brazilian Escola Nacional de Belas Artes in Rio de Janeiro later in 1934. At that time, he joined a team of Brazilian actor architects collaborating with Le Corbusier on a new Ministry of Education and Health building in Rio de Janeiro. He worked with Lucio Costa and Le Corbusier till 1938 on this project. The Corbusian, Corbusian influence is evident in the early works of him. However, uh, the architect gradually acquired his own style. We can see the lightness of the curved forms create a space that transformed the architecture's scheme into some, something that was hitherto unknown. Harmony, grace, and elegance are the adjectives the most appropriate to describe the work of Oscar Niemeyer. The adaptations produced by the architect to connect the Baroque vocabulary with the modernist architecture made possible formal experience in a spectacular volumes executed by famous mathematicians, including Brazilian Joaquim Cardoso. So, uh, his collaboration is worldwide renowned, worldwide known, and we have some of his most important words here, and I will comment about some of them. So to start, we have here the gorgeous Brazilian National Congress building in the Brazilian capital city of Brasilia. Brasilia was a totally designed city by both uh, Oscar Niemeyer and his colleague Lucio Costa back in the 1950s and 60s. And it was a planet city, so uh, it was uh, made through uh, Oscar Niemeyer's collaboration with Lucio Costa. And there are so many buildings around the city that were built by the two of them. And the plan of the city, the architecture plant of the city, resembles actually an R airplane, which would mean a meta. Uh, sense related to the development of the country that like it was flying so this matter sense of this matter uh, meaning of the city is, uh, is related to the country's development in those years so we have then uh, a drawing a croquet from his national congress speaking with very simple fluid lines but really beautiful when you look at life. Here we now have a more recent work of him. This is the uh, Brazilian, the Rio de Janeiro Museum of Contemporary Art. Here, this circular building, it resembles like a UFO or something like that. It's just here in the top of a beach in Rio de Janeiro. Then we have, of course, Copan building in Sao Paulo. It's uh, one of the biggest uh, buildings here in the city. And it's uh, uh, available for people who want to live inside of it. It's not a commercial, commercial building. So uh, there are many great apartments with a great view from the city here and the top of it. Then we have... Another building here in Brasilia, capital, we have the Brazilian White House. Here is where Dilma Rousseff lives. And we have 
the Palácio da Alvorada, the Palace of Town. So we have here her home, and then I have a picture from its inside. So it's really, it's really a great place to live. I think so, and it's just full of uh, pieces, art pieces that some of them were brought here by Duma herself and it just complements and gives this personal sense to this big and open plan building and to finish we have here the United Nations building in New York that uh, received a collaboration from Oscar Niemeyer he was part of the board of design of this building so Niemeyer, Niemeyer's status as a rising star in the architectural world was confirmed when he was chosen to represent Brazil as part of the team to design new headquarters of the UN in New York. The final building was based primarily on Niemeyer's design, with significant elements also taken from his old collaborator Corbusier. Following the completion of this building in 1953, Niemeyer won an appointment as dean of Harvard University's Graduate School of Design, but he was, refu he was refused an American work visa by the United States go government due to his membership in Brazil's Communist Party. So, uh, it's a great place to visit the UN, go there, and you see here a part of Nehemiah's collaboration to the world of act. Arch architecture, sorry. So, Nehemiah is just a really amazing architecture, and uh, uh, personally, he is the best in the world. But that's just my personal Brazilian opinion. And then we go to the gorgeous Vinicius de Moraes. Uh, you probably have already heard of him. Uh, Vinicius was one of the most fundamental figures in Brazilian music. He wrote the, later, the lyrics for some of Bossa Nova's most important songs. But his name is not well known in English-speaking countries, but he helped to create two of the enduring icons of the 20th century culture. The film Black Refuse and the song Girl from Ipanema were both taken from plays and songs he wrote. Moraes is a Brazilian writer whose work over his long career encompassed both the elite realm of poetry and the democracy of popular song. In the later sphere, he was the favorite lyricist of the pioneering Brazilian composer and pion pianist uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim. Together, the two were important shapers of the sophisticated an international popular Brazilian music known as Bossa Nova. So here I have a piece of one of his poems and we should take a look at it now. So this is entitled Soneto da Felicidade, Fidelidade. It's a love po poem, a love sonnet. And I will just read it for you out loud. And then we have this translation by Ashley Brown under it. So, let's start with it. Soneto da Fidelidade De tudo, ao meu amor serei atento antes, e com tal zelo, e sempre, e tanto, que mesmo em face do maior encanto, dele se encante mais meu pensamento. Quero vivê-lo em cada vão momento, e em seu louvor hei de espelhar meu canto, e ir meu riso, e derramar meu pranto ao seu pesar, o seu contentamento. E assim, quando mais tarde me procure, quem sabe a morte, a angústia de quem vive, quem sabe a solidão, fim de quem ama, eu possa me dizer do amor que tive, que não seja imortal, posto que a chama, mas que seja infinito enquanto dure. So I think you could get that is a love poem. This the translation of it is entitled "The Sonnet of Fidelity," and let me just read it in English. So, so.
sonnet of fidelity. Above all, to my love, I'll be attentive, first, and always with such ardor, so much, that even when confronted by this great enchantment, my thoughts ascend to more delight. I want to live it through in each vain moment, and its honor I must spread my song, and lie, laugh with my delight, and shed my tears when she's sad or when she's contented. And thus, when after war comes looking for me, who knows what death, anxiety of the living, who knows what loneliness, and of the loving, I could say to myself of the love I had, let it not be immortal, since it's flame, but let it be infinite while it lasts. So, here we have this beautiful piece of Brazilian poetry written by Vinicius de Moraes. And I just wanted to end our lesson number 10, our culture thoughts here, with these two amazing Brazilian artists, Oscar Niemeyer and Vinicius de Moraes. Thank you very much for watching P101 online course. My name is Mario. Please subscribe to our videos and keep with us. Next time, see you in lesson number 11.